Mary Bishop. I'm here this evening on behalf of Congresswoman Yvette Clark. I'm her Caribbean liaison. Unfortunately, the Congresswoman couldn't be here with you. However, she wanted to express her thanks and appreciation to the community of Grenada, Heraku, and Pitimagni for the support and contribution to her throughout the years. And recognizing this, she would also like to show her appreciation by presenting a proclamation to Mr. Linus Sanis Claus, who has been a true pioneer throughout the Caribbean nation. Once again, on behalf of Congresswoman Eva Clark, I'd like to present this proclamation that's read. Whereas, I know. Whereas Dr. Sanis Claus has been married for 36 years, is a father of five children, a grandfather of seven grandchildren, whose legacy in his country and to the 11 other small Commonwealth country and the United Nations in a small in the United States office as a UN. And now, therefore, I, Eva Clark, member of Congress representing the 11 Congressional District of New York, do hereby acknowledge Mr. Lamarant's service clause, dated February 6th. Thank you. gentlemen, the Diamond Award presented to Dr. Lamuel Stanislaus in recognition of your service, sir, generosity, commitment, and leadership to the people of Grenada, Cariacou, and Peter Martinique throughout the years. You are our crown jewel. 36th Grenada Independence. for February 6, 2010.
Office, the Master of Ceremonies, Grenada's Minister of Finance, and Member of Parliament, the Honorable Azim Burke. Fellow honorees, members of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps, our owner, Common Representative of the United Nations, Dr. Decimo Williams, Distinguished Consul General, Chairman of the Independence Committee. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, you will note that with my increasing years, so go my decreasing steps. <laughs> Nevertheless, I am happy to be among you and especially to be associated with this outstanding and illustrious slate of honorees. The great theologian and philosopher St. Augustine said centuries ago, that when you have done your duty towards your God, your family, your country, there should be no need for recognition and award because you have simply done your duty. This slate of honorees is a perfect example of those who have done their duty and are still doing their duty to their country. Each calling, each walk of life has its own elite, its own aristocracy based on excellence of performance. And these honorees have done, have done just that. I want to digress for a moment because I see a distinguished and handsome member of the State Assembly. Some people think about this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is not my intent to inflict any excess verbal punishment. <laughs> on such a beautiful audience. So, I propose to govern myself by my five Bs. Be brief, be bright, and be gone. <laughs> but before going, <laughs> Going. I want to make special mention of friends of mine who have helped Grenada along the way. And you know they are lending color to this gathering. I'm referring to, first of all, Dr. Lawson, Dr. Karen Lawson. The wife, the wife of a very good friend of mine, of beloved and revered memory. While I was at the United Nations, through a distinguished Canadian called Peter Otley, I met Mr. Bartholomew Lawson. And Mr. Bartholomew Lawson introduced me to a friend of his who did so much at that time for Grenada during the previous administration. And you have heard from Dr. Lawson. I just want to introduce to you the next true Grenadian at large. I wonder if our friend who was also 
under the old administration, Grenada's Ambassador Lodge, Lodge for Economic Development. My near friend, Rabbi Michael Melly, see the table 19. At the present time, he's engaged along with St. George's University, Chancellor Charles Mordigan. In discussions with the Prime Minister, they have held three meetings already, and they had a wonderful program for the further development of Grenada. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you did not come here to receive all this verbal punishment. <laughs> I know that you came here to dance, to display the rhythmic gyrations <laughs> and the bodily contortions <laughs> that characterize the Caribbean dance. Shakespeare refers or defines dancing as tripping those light, fantastic toes. And I know you're ready to do just, just that. But an unknown author describes dancing as the verbal, vertical, the vertical expression of a horizontal and nocturnal desire. <laughs> In closing, in closing, I want to greet, I want to greet and salute a Grenadian who has been of great help to me while I was at the United Nations. She is now Mrs. Cecil Belfort, but, but she used to be Janice Mark with Celeste, Janice Dickbaum. <laughs> and if Miss Norma Blaze is in the audience, Norma is a top strength to be at the United Nations. So ladies and gentlemen, let me end with a patriotic note. It's a verse I remember when I was in elementary school in Grenada, I want to commit it. I want to commit it to all Grenadians, regardless of your political affiliation. Because from divergent views can come converging voices. To all the world, I give my hand, my heart I give my native land. I seek her good, her glory. I honor every nation's name. Respect the fortune and the faith. But I love that land, love that land. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen.